January 2015, the World Penchak Silat Championships will take place in Phuket, Thailand. Penchak Silat is a martial arts developed in the Nusantara area of Southeast Asia that includes countries of Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and Brunei. For the first time, the United States Silat Federation is planning on sending a team to compete in this prestigious tournament. So today we had practice again. Um, we we're drawing close to the tournament. Um, we had a couple of setbacks. We had um, some of the team members. Unfortunately, one of them got injured, Ashraf, so he is no longer able to come. And then we had some, uh, some other issues, especially for the girls' regular team. So we're still pushing forward. We also are down on donations. We were hoping that we would have a lot more donations by now. <laughs> My brother, Ashraf, he broke his leg in sparring. Um, that's a big setback because he's good, he's good at sparring and he's great for practicing against. Um, and the fact that he broke his leg it didn't really set, it didn't really make morale go down. It just made us want to fight harder for his sake and for our sake because now that he's not in the tournament, we have to work even harder to make it far for him. We had a couple setbacks, um, so for a reg for a girls regular team you need three um, people for the form, and so we are not able to have a girls regular team anymore. <laughs> I don't think we've lost our female regular team just that they're not able to go this, to this particular event, but if we keep building and keep working on our, on our team, you know, we'll have a SEP team eventually and no matter what the competition or wherever it is, I think we'll be ready. So the longest journey starts with one step and I think we've started this journey and we're, we're um, propelling forward, so we're okay. <laughs> So I'm really trying to do everything in my, my power to make, make this trip and this tournament happen. But um, you know, there's always extenuating circumstances and it's us, our responsibility as team members to push through it and really, if we really want to achieve and win, we have to push through these hardships. We had a surprise visit from Shadmine. Um, he's one of our students. He is a, a student, he goes to college in Johns Hopkins University. Um, so he has not been able to come to practice, but he was in town, so he decided to come. And I was pretty impressed. He, he uh, was able to stay, keep up the pace with the um, practice. Of course, he doesn't know the regu. We're at the point now where there's like a lot of tweaking that needs to be done to, uh, to, to get us ready for, uh, for competition. Um, but we're getting there, we're moving in the right direction. I like that it was good. Yeah, um, hopefully inshallah if, I'm, if I can get it down packed like everyone else, because I know everyone else is ahead of me. <laughs> um, inshallah, uh, I'd like to do it. Made a lot of headway with the regu, which is really good. We've pretty much gone through the whole form as a whole now, but now we need to get down our timing and and really get down to the nitty gritty of it, make sure all the details are right. But it's a good spot to be now, given our time frame. Oh, yeah, we did. And step back, step back.
uh, personally uh, they, they need to to understand what what technique is good to, to apply what technique is it's not that doesn't work Today we had a surprise visitor from Shadman Hussain. He hasn't been in here a while, but he decided to come to help us out. He did sparring today and he did really well. Um, uh, he sparred Khaled Malik, he sparred Amin. Uh, they all, I'm sure I can speak for them when they say that they, he put up a good fight. I wanted to come to practice because my uh, school commitment um, in Baltimore prevents me from coming to the usual Saturday practice sessions and I felt really bad that I was missing out while everyone else was training really hard. Everyone's, everyone's committing a lot of time and effort towards this uh, competition in Thailand and I felt that I need to take advantage of my time here by showing up to as many practice sessions as I can before I head back to school again. I sparred Amin from Maryland branch, who's a black belt, and I also sparred Kabdu Malik. And overall, I felt that you know um, I I wasn't I wasn't behind in terms of training too much, since I I have been practicing with the Hopkins Sports Taekwondo team back in my school, and I was able to throw some good punches and kicks. Whether people uh, are on the team or not, whether they unfortunately are not able to come to the tournament or not, it's amazing they still show up to practice and uh, they are contributing towards us being able to compete at a world standard, at a world level, world class uh, competitors. So uh, we appreciate Shadvan coming through. Uh, we appreciate uh, Sakina also practicing with us because even if you're not on the team, if you're too young for the team or you're not even able to come because of uh, you know, some uh, situation or the other, you're pushing all of us to get better. I've learned so much through this whole experience and you know, if I can't, for whatever reason, I can't make it to Thailand, there's always the Belgium tournament and e even then, you know, even if I don't end up being able to compete overseas, it's still a great experience and rooting for you guys all the way from my dorm room. <laughs> Donations, please, please donate. Um, getting us to Thailand, being able to cover these entry fees, it's not an easy cost. We need all the help we can. And you know, money is obviously some, an issue that we are, we're struggling with. Tra traveling to Thailand isn't free. Um, it costs a lot of money. So we really need the support of everybody watching this video. You know, any little amount helps our cause. So please, uh, we're asking you to donate as much as you can. Um, we are coming out of our own pockets to try to fund this. Don't let us down and continue to support us. Really, this is a once in a life opportunity. You don't get the opportunity to compete in an international tournament in Thailand every other Tuesday. So please, whichever, whatever help you can, please donate. Every cent is appreciated. And if you really believe that we can, you know, this United States Sea Lot team, Sea Lot team that can make it to Thailand, if you really believe that we can 
compete and if you really believe in sea lot in general and the United States, um, you know, you, you would be supporting us. So anything helps.